Hello everyone! From time to time I receive questions regarding BIM and regarding BIM management, regarding the real experience in life, and this time I receive a question or questions from someone uh, about asking me about detailed information about my experience, experience in Ziggurat. I have this master in global BIM management from Ziggurat, so he is asking me about more details about this master. So I like the questions this time and I decided to present these questions and answer it in a video so anyone can just get the benefit of my answers. It is my personal opinion, by the way. Maybe some of my colleagues do not agree with me totally, but I will say it from my own perspective and I hope it will help some of you thinking about this kind of masters. His first question was, how much impact do you feel that the course after completion had on your career as a BIM manager? So my answer about this one is, after about two years of experience after the master, I can tell you that it really had high impact on my career. Actually, in this master, we learned how to manage, how to make the process, how to standardize, how to deal with the BIM management, data management. More than that, we learned a lot of things regarding BIM management and uh, ISO standards, and all of these things are practical and it can be applied to real projects. After we finished the course, we applied what we have learned in the real projects and we see the value of this master. And when I say we, I mean me and my colleagues who graduated from this master and right after the master work, worked on BIM-based projects and they applied this knowledge. The second question was, do you feel the knowledge outmatch or at least matched your expectations? If not, what bothered you or what made you surprised? So actually before the master, I asked about this master, some of the people who graduated from this master. So that's what you have to do always. You need to ask people about their real uh, experience as you as you are now asking me however uh, when you ask them you can understand in reality what you will face in this master what are the things that you will learn however I can tell you that my expectations were less than what I have seen I can tell you that uh, I thought that they will uh, let us understand BIM standards, BIM management things, and just apply it in some of the softwares. That's it. Then I saw that they give us more than that. They present some new uh, information uh, for us. Some, they introduce us to new information regarding, I can tell you, agile methodology, laser scanning, uh, heritage, communication, uh, BIM implementation, and more. So that's my answer to your question. The third question, how did often the Ziggurat Institute put the best people they had uh, to lecture, interact with students? Okay, I can answer you that uh, yes, they have great people. And I can tell you that some of them were responsible in the ISO standards, for example. So yes, they are, they are great people, great instructors. However, the only problem is that you're, you have the chance to ask them or to learn from them during the sessions, the live sessions. And you have the opportunity to ask them also after the session in the form. So in the form you have only two weeks. I, I remember that it is only two weeks. So after the session, you have a form. You can ask and discuss with the uh, with the instructor. But if you, for example, was late and uh, try to ask something later than that, you you will see that the form is closed. So you cannot ask the instructor again in that. Even if uh, 
if he or she has another session and another topic, you cannot ask him that about the previous topic. That, so that's something that I didn't like in the master. Uh, I hope they fix it in the, in the next year because I have uh, taken this master in 2020. So I don't know what's happened after that. However, if you can ask your questions early, you can get the answers early and before the form is closed. But sometimes, this is the problem, sometimes you have more than a session in one week and you, you cannot uh, watch all the sessions because you can, uh, you can attend it live but you, you can also watch the record after the session. So if you have something late, you will uh, watch the session late, then uh, maybe you have to practice and after you practice you have question in your mind and oops you will find the form is closed so this is the problem so as i told you i hope they just uh, fix this problem the fourth question is do you feel the course is sufficient enough in terms of software components revit archicad navisworks etc or you had to self-learn any other software to add to the bim ecosystem okay I can tell you, before the course, I thought that we will learn some Revit, Navisworks, Archicad, and that's it. But I saw that they give us more than that. They give us a lot of BIM tools, Plannerly, Synchro, BIM Sync, Dynamo, and more. And I believe in the next years, they developed more than that. I'm not sure. So you need to email the Ziggurat Institute regarding this and just ask them about the new syllabus the fifth question is how valuable do you feel the awarded degree in terms of putting you on advantage edge with the job market okay let me tell you some companies understand and appreciate the value of this program this uh, master program so when you come to them or they saw, see your CV, they think, oh good, that guy have this knowledge and this, these skills and uh, they have some expectations from you and maybe they will select you. This is a good advantage of this. But you have to know that there is an interview and in, in the interview you have to prove that it is not only you attend this master and you have this certificate, you have to prove that you can deal with real projects. Also in the probation period, you have to prove that you are, you are able to manage or coordinate or do the BIM things. Because from my experience, uh, some or let me say few uh, people who attended this course, they were not able to work on BIM-based projects. They were not able to apply the knowledge that they learned. That's because I think they like BIM. They like to know information about BIM. They don't get themselves involved in BIM execution. They don't put themselves in real BIM projects or in a challenge of founding new departments regarding BIM. So maybe that is the reason. The next question is, would you recommend the course for BIM new eye opener like me? I can only use Revit in the BIM system to take this course right away as a jump start, or would you strongly recommend to self learn basics of other software within BIM ecosystem first. Well, to be honest, most of the graduates that I have known who took this course, they had the experience in one or two projects in BIM, starting from BIM authoring to BIM coordination, clash matrix, clash detection. They have this kind of software skills and technical skills before the master, but after the master, they have organized way on coordination and on BIM management. So that is the difference. So yes, I strongly recommend you to work on a project in BIM, even if it is only a sample project, something you have CAD files and you work on BIM, like Revit for example, and then you have more than one discipline and you do clash detection and solve clashes when you have this experience you can come to the master 
and you can see that you have organized way on dealing in real BIM environments. However, if you want a big jump, you can go right now to Ziggurat's master and just make sure you work hard on the project because then you have really good experience. The next and final question, what advice would you give for successful BIM manager engineer career? What to be prepared, what to be expected from real life work? I like this question, this is the greatest one. I wrote some points. Uh, number one, I believe you need to be organized. If you want to go to the BIM environment, if you want to manage, if you want to coordinate, or if you are engineer in a BIM environment, you need to be organized because you're dealing with data and this data must be set in an organized way. That's why we follow standards. Number two, Keep yourself in your field beside BIM. Do not ignore uh, the technical part. So if you are a structural engineer, just keep yourself uh, working on the structural engineering and try to learn about BIM software and BIM technology in the structural field. If you are mechanical, electrical engineer or architect, just keep yourself updated also on your field beside BIM. BIM is a great technology that can help you in your field. You don't have to ignore totally your field. However, if you find yourself very good in BIM bath, you can be specialized only on BIM, but then you need to be always updated because this is also important point. BIM is rapidly changing. Technology is rapidly changing. Yesterday we had CAD, today BIM, and we don't know what's it, what will be tomorrow. So if you select the BIM bath, you have to know that you need always to be updated. And my last advice, if you want to become a BIM manager or BIM director, BIM team leader, you need to be a team leader. You need to know how to deal with the team, how to direct them, how to solve their problems, technical problems and other problems you need to train them and guide them how to learn because as we said BIM needs development continuous development also if you want to be a BIM manager you need to set the standards you need to set the workflows and of course you need to be organized so that's what's come to my mind when I read your questions thank you for your questions and as I have said, this is my personal experience and my personal opinion. If some of my colleagues have some other perspectives, please go and record a new video. And I would like to learn from your experience, please. Thank you everyone and see you in other videos.